Hi, Hiram here. Back in July of uh, 2013, I uploaded a video that I called Fancy Feast Stove Boil Test 1. This was a video that I did because of a another video that I saw on Shug's channel where he his video Superior Hiking Trail where he showed his fancy feast stove that he was using and it reminded me of this stove that I did last year uh, I did this I made the stove I wanted it for melting snow but I never got around to it because here in Pennsylvania last year we didn't get much snow that's changing a little bit this year but anyway I uploaded a video on this using th my Boy Scout pot an aluminum pot. Just recently I got a request from Cash Cow 1981 asking me if I would do the same test but using the 12 centimeter zebra pot. This is a stainless steel pot. So I thought I'd give that a try today. The uh, I call it the fancy feast stove because it's made out of a fancy feast cat food can plus a cut down tomato paste can with a piece of carbon felt wedged between them just like so. I wanted something, I like the uh, the cat stoves, you know the ones where you just punch the holes in here but the big problem is when you punch holes in here you really limit how much alcohol you can put in this and for melting snow I wanted to use this but I wanted a little bit bigger capacity so this is a takeoff of another stove, a Venom stove, which was a, a nice stove, but not much capacity for alcohol either. And I just did this. So it's just a tomato paste can that's cut down, giving me my one inch from here to the bottom of the pot, a couple of vent holes so that it doesn't possibly build up pressure and force alcohol out through the wicking. Let me, I got one fluid ounce of methanol air. Let me let that get soaked up into the wicking, just carbon felt wicking. But let me go get some water prepped and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. Let me light this, or actually, I can put this on top. Hopefully the alcohol is soaked into the burner. Looks like maybe it could have sat a little bit longer. With only putting one fluid ounce of methanol in here, it uh, pretty much soaks it all up and doesn't give it any extra. Oops, really screwed this up. So this is already up to 63 degrees. I'll have to take that into consideration. Room temperature is 40 degrees. It's 10 degrees outside and windy, partly cloudy might snow again but let's see where this goes okay here we are two minutes into the test the temperature is up to 108 109 going up further this is a great little burner for what it is I mean it's just a cat food can a tomato paste can a little bit of carbon felt and you're off and running I do have a larger version of this that I made out of the out of a tuna fish can for larger pots but I'm not sure if I would need it here see how the flames come up and spread out right to the edges of the pot ah, I forgot to up the uh, temperature that just means that it reached whatever temperature was set on the thermometer I gotta set it up to 212 so let's see how long this takes to get to 212 from here there we have 210 to 11 to 12 and 6 minutes 7 seconds okay let's see how long this runs till run out on the one fluid ounce of methanol okay I think you can see that the wicking itself is just about ready to go out well it's gone out I think the only thing that's burning is some vapors coming out of the the uh, safety jets on the top so I guess I should still count that as time it's going down where you see it here there's a little opening in the uh, carbon felt and that's why it's coming up there 
just about ready to die. <laughs> this one's going to hang on, isn't it? it? I think it was nine minutes the last test I did with this for run out. Could be that the cold is really holding it back. Okay, I'm going to call this as, there we go, call it now 10 minutes 24 seconds. I called that because the temperature dropped below, uh, below the 212. Let me go back to camera one. Shut this off. <clears throat> okay. Okay, now the, I think you can see it. I took the pot off and what vapors left inside are just burning off. But I'm still going to call that at uh, 1024. So interesting. <clears throat> that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. I was a little slow on turning on the timer. Out of practice of doing videos, I guess. But uh, came to a boil in 6 minutes 7 seconds and then ran out in in what? I gotta look back on that. I put, think I put down the wrong time here. But on the previous test with the Boy Scout pot, it took two cups of water, five minutes, 13 seconds to come to a boil, and then ran out in nine. Of course, one of the big differences was the room temperature when I did that test was 84 degrees versus 40 degrees now. That could make a real big difference. But that's the zebra pot, the 12 centimeter zebra pot, stainless steel versus aluminum, uh, aluminum on the Boy Scout pot. So I hope this helps. Excuse me. <clears throat> Cash Cow 1981. Uh, this might be a good pot for doing snow and stuff. And I still like this. I think it would work much better if there was more than one fluid ounce of methanol in there. You'd especially need that if you were melting snow. When you do it with just the one fluid ounce, it really doesn't have enough fluid behind it to kind of force it up in through the carbon felt. That's why I kind of goofed it up a little bit on the, the starting the timer. I'll leave links down below to where I did the first test with this using the Boy Scout pot. I'll also leave a link down below for the video that Suge did uh, that got me to doing the video on this thing, reminding me, I should say. If you haven't seen his videos, you got to check them out. Really entertaining and very educational. Again, I'll leave links down below for those. So I thank Cash Cow 1981 for his request to do this. I thank you for watching. I thank Shook for his videos too. And as always, I, I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.